Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is one of my favorite videos to film every single month. It is the Roulette Pan Collab, and this is the third update in this round. I believe it's round six, and this is the last update before the finale. So if you are unfamiliar with this project, it was created by Rebecca and Lexi. I'll have both of their channels linked down below. I highly recommend both of their channels. Both of them are just super inspiring when it comes to like makeup and creativity. Um, I absolutely love the way that both of them do their makeup. Super, super inspiring in my opinion. And they're also both very big into panning, which are some of my favorite videos to watch. So if you like panning, I highly recommend both of their channels. Again, I'll have them linked down below as well as the playlist for everyone else who is participating in this project it has become a huge project and one that has been so fun to be a part of just to watch everyone else's videos and cheer everyone else along so the idea around this project is that there are 50 different prompts which are in a google spreadsheet also will be linked in the description box you randomly select six numbers that correlate to those prompts and then select products based on the prompts that you get the project runs for a total of four months and it's a rolling style project so if you finish a product up then you roll a new one in in the next update i'm very excited that i will be getting to roll in one new product this update so if you're interested in seeing my progress this month then stay tuned first if you haven't already subscribed to my channel i hope you'll consider doing so before you go i do post videos five days a week but other than that let's just jump into this update Okay, so like I said, this is update number three. Next update will be the finale. Up until this point, I had finished four other products in this project, which was very exciting. And like I said, I have finished up one additional item, so we will be rolling in another product this month. But let's just start from the first prompt, which was a product you haven't used in a while. And for that, I had selected my Bite Beauty French Press Lip Gloss in the shade Flat White. I am concerned that these are being discontinued. Almost everything from the Bite Beauty brand was on sale at Sephora, like steeply discounted. And I wish I had noticed in time to purchase another one of these as well as a different shade in this because I really love this lip gloss. This is like a really nice cool toned nude lip gloss. Very pigmented and not sticky. I really do like this formula. And pulling this into this project kind of using it frequently has taught me that i really do like this before i was kind of on the fence but i really have been enjoying my time with this so i kind of like roughly estimated each update and this was being stored like sideways so i'm not really sure where i am right now but when i first brought this in i was up at the top here then second update i was here last update here and now i would estimate Oh, it's just so hard to estimate with this. Let me see if I can like look inside the tube. I'll have to remark it, but I would estimate I'm somewhere around here. I don't think I'll finish this lip gloss off by the end of this project, but I do have a feeling that I will finish this off in 2020. I'm going to be really bummed if I can't get my hands on this anymore because this is a really nice gloss formula. And for some reason, I just cannot find a shade that is dupable to this or just is as nice as this one or one that i like as much as this one so that is a bummer but i am really glad that i pulled this into this project so then the product that i finished off was for the prompt a new product in your collection and when i pulled this in it was pretty much brand new this is the ColourPop lippy balm in the shade bellini and mine is completely used up it was not hard for me to use this up i essentially just brought this to work with me i used it morning i used it night i used it throughout the day at work just as a hydrating like lip balm slash lip gloss it kind of reminds me of the Kopari Lip Glossy. It's just a very nourishing product and it worked really well to keep my lips hydrated but also kind of give that glossy effect without being too much. I didn't find that this formula bothered me. It wasn't too sticky, maybe a little stickier than some other formulas but nothing where like if you went like this with your lips like you would get that goop they weren't goopy if that makes sense i definitely will when i make my next color pop order be purchasing another one of these because i really did enjoy it i believe these are eight dollars as opposed to the kopari which i believe is 13 this one's a little bit thicker than the kopari but again both of them kind of do the same thing and i find both to be exceptionally nourishing to the lips this really helped keep my lips hydrated um, and i've definitely missed this since finishing it so because this is done at the end of this, we will be rolling in a new product, which I'm very excited about. 
Next up was a limited edition item and I wanted to give myself a challenge so I pulled in this blush trio from NARS which was their limited edition blush trio from last year. It has the shades Amore, Orgasm, and Luster and my goal was to use this a goal and my goal was to use this at least 40 times throughout the duration of this project. So when I hit 40, I could roll it out. I am currently at, I got it, I think 23. Yes, 23. Last update, I was at 13. So I've used this an additional 10 times. However, I would have to use it a total of 27 times by the next update in order to hit my goal i didn't use this too much between the, the intro and update number one i only used it four times so i have been using this more frequently but i don't think i'll hit my goal on this one i'm really happy that i pulled this in because i've gotten way more use on this than i would have had i not rolled this in obviously blushes are very 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 hard to pan but i can definitely see that this has gotten some use and some love which it was looking almost untouched up until this point 27 times i guarantee is more than this got use out of in its lifetime before pulling it into this project so i'm really happy that this has been getting some love i love the packaging on this, this is, that's the whole reason i purchased this product not necessarily a great reason to buy a product but this has been getting use out of me so that makes me happy next was a shade from a palette that you don't reach for often and this is another product that i wanted to challenge myself with so i rolled in the abh riviera palette and i selected the shade seaside right here which is a really beautiful like sylvan sylvander silver lavender shade there it is swatched right there and i actually do have this on my lids today i'll be curious to see what this eye look looks like on camera i i tried to use the juvia's magic place ma what am i saying whoa I tried to use the Juvia's Place Magic Palette today and I tried to go on with like the two matte blue shades and I just had to completely wipe my eyes off because I don't even know what I was going for in that look but it was a straight up disaster. So then today I basically just put this shade all over the lid and also used a little bit of Mediterranean and then just took like a matte neutral brown shade a little bit in my crease and then i took a purple shade from a different palette that i'm trying to pan and did that on the lower lash line i was just kind of going for whatever i don't even know what i was going for today um i don't hate it but i'll be interested to see what it looks like on camera it's a little bit more it's lighter than i usually go for usually i feel like i go for like a little bit heavier of an eye look but maybe maybe i'll like this anyway i've only used this an additional two or three times this past month now abh shadows i feel like are it, it, you go through them quicker or at least in my opinion and in my experience i go through abh shadows a lot faster than i do other shadows specifically their shimmers but i still feel like i have a ways to go with this one i don't know that i'll complete my goal by the finale but this already has gotten more use than it would have I, the riviera palette's definitely a regret purchase i just do not reach for this palette basically ever the only reason i've been reaching for it is to reach for the seaside shade but that is my progress on the riviera palette so the last two products that i will touch on are two products that i rolled in as of last update starting with this one this is the nor this is the no problem primer from touch and soul and i selected this for the prompt a product that you love now this was must have been like on the walls kind of weird last time when i marked it but this is where i marked it at the last update and if you look inside like there's a very large dip okay my camera battery died so sorry for looking a little bit different anyway as i was saying the touch and soul primer so if you look at the walls it almost looks like i'm in the exact same spot but i've been using this primer a ton and if you look on the inside i mean i would say i'm maybe like right here I may or may not have this finished by the next update. It'll be really close. I have been mixing this with my Amazing Cosmetics primer. This one I've been using more in my T-zone to kind of fill in pores in the Amazing Cosmetics one, which I'm trying to go through. I've been using as an illuminating primer all over the face. The two mix nicely together. Um, I love this primer. I actually do have, so I had purchased this one 
maybe like a year and a half ago and then we got it in our boxy charm briefly after so i do actually have a backup of this one and i'm really excited to have this one in my collection if i didn't have that one from boxy charm i would probably repurchase this just because i really do enjoy this primer and then the last product to share with you guys is a product that i said i wouldn't repurchase and what's really funny is the more that i've used this the more i've liked it and decided i might actually repurchase so this is the flower beauty concealer and i actually just took the stopper out of this yesterday this one's kind of hard to tell where i am there's so i marked it here as of the last update um and i can see some like wear away on the walls with when I like still have the stopper and I could barely get any product out at all. So I probably still have at least two to three weeks of consistent use with this. But this is basically the only concealer I've been reaching for the last month just because I've been trying to use this up. So this may or may not be done by the finale. I'd be really excited if it was. I have really enjoyed this the last month or so that I've really been focused on it. My only complaint with this is I feel like this one, even when set with a powder creases but i like that this one gives good coverage while still being hydrated hydrating so yeah i am excited that i i'm happy that i pulled this in and kind of realized that i didn't dislike this as much as i thought that i did in fact i've really grown to like this concealer so i thought that was very interesting and something that i definitely wanted to share with you guys but that being said those are the six products that i have been working on because i did finish up that ColourPop lippy balm we are going to be rolling in another product so on my so on my spreadsheet i've taken out all of the prompts that i've already rolled or gotten in some of my past projects so i only have 38 prompts left on mine and my prompts won't exactly match up to the spreadsheet that'll be linked below just because i have taken out the prompts that i've already gotten so i'm going to jump into the pretty random app and i'm going to randomly generate a number between 1 and 38 and we get number 23. The so number 23 is an item from your favorite brand, which is super hard because I don't know if I have like a favorite, favorite brand. So I'm going to go think about this and I will be right back with what I select. Okay, so that was kind of difficult because I didn't want to select a product that would have been competing with some of the other products within this project. Um, and it was hard to select a product just because I have so many favorite brands. But one brand that I really do love and I would consider one of my favorites is hourglass so the product that i selected to work on is the hourglass ambient lighting powder and i have mine in luminous light this is what mine looks like now obviously i only have a month left to work on this and i know i'm not gonna hit pan on this or complete this but my goal with this is just to use it 15 times this is a product that has been sort of a love hate type of relationship i have gone through phases where i really enjoy this and then i've gone through phases where i just see no need for this product in my collection now when i finish this if i ever finish it i would not repurchase it but right now i have really been enjoying using this to clean up like my bronzer i feel like my bronzer looks a little muddy today so please ignore that but if I feel like it's like super, I just like use it to clean up the line on my cheeks here. And then I, any day that I use my L'Oreal 24 hour fresh wear foundation, I use this on top of it because for some reason I just like the way that those two pair. I feel like this gives that foundation that little bit of glow that I'm looking for, a little bit more life into the skin but I'm still getting the benefits of a longer wearing foundation. So I think I should easily be able to use this 15 times and hit my goal on it. And I thought it would be a good product just because I have found it hard to be motivated to use this product in the past. I thought it would be good to pull it into a project to give me that extra boost of motivation. So this is going to be the sixth product that I will be working on the next month before the finale. Again, I am so excited to watch everyone's updates it's one of my favorite times of the month just because I know there'll be so many Project Pan videos to binge watch. So don't forget to check out everyone else's video. Again, the playlist will be linked down in my description box. Thank you so much for sticking around to watch today's video and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.